in this video, we're talking about what I'm getting on New Comic Book Day for Wednesday, February 3rd. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Now, I do videos just about every day of the week talking about comics. I unbox them, I review them, um, I show you what I picked up. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I post a new video, uh, which, like I said, is it's like every day now. Um, so new comic book day is coming up, and this is my weekly series called What I'm Getting, where I talk to you guys about what's on my pull list, what might be on the chopping block, uh, what I'm most excited for, and what's on the maybe list. I'll make a game day decision on. Now, this week is actually a pretty light week, um, which is good because there's a bunch of reprints coming out this week uh, that'll probably balance out your totals if you missed out on some of those future state books. So before I get into what I'm most excited about this week, let's talk about some of the reprints that are coming and the ones that I'm actually getting. So probably the hottest reprint coming out this week is Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Uh, this is the second printing. And with that super cool web variant, uh, now on the original printing, it was a black with white webs. This time it's going to be the red webbed printing. So uh, people are liking that. Um, if there's those, anything like the Daredevil 25 second printing, it's going to be hot for a second. Um, so you want to make sure that you go ahead and put it on pre-order at your comic shop so that you don't have to pay more than cover price for it. Uh, but yeah, so that's a super cool cover by Pat Gleason. Uh, what else is coming out? So I'm not getting all the future state reprints. There's a bunch of them, second printings, um, but there are a couple that I am getting. Um, and it's not even because I missed out on them. It's because these design variants are just really cool. So I'm going to get uh, the next or future state dark detective number one, uh, that design variant featuring Bruce Wayne. It just looks really cool. Um, it's probably something that I shouldn't be spending money on since I own the book already, but that's got a cover price of $5.99. And so I'm going to grab it. Uh, the next Batman, number one and number two, are getting uh, reprints or second printings this week. Um, and they're both getting those design variants as well. Uh, so you got one where Tim Fox has the mask on. And then you got another one where he does not. Um, and they're calling him Jace. So uh, those next Batman, number one and number two, those are out this week. Still keeping the original cover price of $7.99 each. Um, and then the last reprint that I'm getting is Future State Wonder Woman number one. Now, I actually did miss out on Future State Wonder Woman number one. Um, I went to my LCS and it was sold out on the day of release. So I haven't read it yet. Um, and I've actually got number two on my pull list. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but Future State Wonder Woman number one, getting that cool second printing uh, design variant uh, featuring Yara Floor. So I've heard nothing but good things about the series. Hopefully it's as good as everyone says, and that's got a cover price of $3.99. So those reprints are going to cost me $30, and who said it was a light week? I don't remember saying that. Did I say that? Anyway, so let's talk about the books that are actually new releases from this week, and I always like to start with the one that I am most excited for. So this week, I am most excited for uh, Future State, The Next Batman, Issue 3. Uh, now, what's funny is I'm actually not even excited about this book for the main story. I did read Future State Next Batman number two uh, a couple weeks ago when it came out. And I got to say, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't disappointing in that it was a bad story. But I felt like there were a lot of threads that were kind of opened up in issue one that weren't really addressed in issue two. What I'm hoping for from the Next Batman main series is I want to know why Tim Fox becomes Batman. And I want to know what's going on with him and his family and why there's so much angst between them. Uh, and those questions weren't explored really at all in issue number two. Add that to the fact that the art was kind of lacking. Uh, there was one panel in particular that I was just like, all right, this is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so I, I didn't like the main story in issue two as much. But with issue three, Hopefully, we're getting uh, some more action and we're getting more information about Tim and his family. Now, I do know that there is a next Batman kind of ongoing series or miniseries that's uh, coming out, I think, starting in April. 
And so that's probably going to answer more of the questions that I have. Um, but that wasn't announced when the original series was announced. So I kind of wish they would wrap up some of these threads in the four issues that we were sold. Um, but anyway, what I'm most excited for is that outsider story. We get part two of the Batman and the outsider story, uh, featuring Katana and it had Duke Thomas the signal. Also a really cool appearance from black lightning was in that issue. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And we're also getting part two of that Arkham Knight story. So if you missed out on my review of issue one that had all three of those stories in there, I'll put it up in the YouTube card so that you can watch it. Um, but yeah, so that's got a cover price of $7.99. I'm just getting the A cover and I'm excited about it. So keeping up with, uh, my, our DC comics, uh, it's all about future state this week. So. Future State, the next, or excuse me, Future State Wonder Woman number two is out this week. Um, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, again, I, I've heard only good things about Future State Wonder Woman. I heard it was one of the standouts. Um, and I actually was able to pick up an issue. I got a variant cover. Um, I haven't quite read it yet, but, um, it had some cool artwork. So I was excited about that. So I'm probably just going to read the second print. Uh, since it's got that cool design variant, and then I'll read issue two back to back. Um, but anyway, that's got a cover price of three ninety nine, and I'm just getting the cover A on that one. Now, the next book from DC Comics that I'm getting is Far Sector number ten. Uh, this was almost my pick of the week, or what I'm most excited for this week. Uh, but Far Sector, it's a twelve part maxi series written by N.K. Jemison with artwork by Jamal Campbell. And let me tell you, the artwork is what sells this series for me. The story is good. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, it's a good old fashioned mystery kind of who done it, but it's got some political drama. Um, it's really cool, and it's got some kind of callbacks to. Uh, things that happen in real life as well. Um, I can't really say much of what it is without spoiling the story for you. But like I said, it's a 12 part series. If you haven't been reading it, it's probably going to be hard for you to catch up on it, especially since, um, they're thinking that Sojourner Mullen is going to end up being in that Green Lantern HBO Max series. So that issue one is getting up there. Um, you could probably find it close to 20 bucks, um, if you really want to. But yeah, track down those issues or read them digitally. Uh, but the story is great. I'm not a big sci-fi guy, so it's harder for me to get into some of the characters and world building that they do. But when they get to the action, man, do they get to it. And it's a great book, so I recommend it. So that's got a cover price of $3.99, and I'm picking up the cover A. Although that Yasmin Put Putri, uh cover B looks pretty good, too. So we'll see if it's at the shop. Maybe I'll switch it out. Uh, so that's my DC Comics pull list. So including the next Batman and those two, my DC Comics pull is looking at just $16 this week. And uh, that's welcome. I'm excited about that. Uh, so let's move on to Marvel Comics. Now, the Marvel Comics, I have to have a confession to make. There's going to be two books here that you've seen on my chopping block before. So I was like, how are these on the list? Well, spoiler alert, I didn't chop them. So the first one, is Venom number 33. Now I'm just getting the A cover. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's got no climbing out of Dylan or uh, Eddie Brock's mouth. Like, that's just a cool cover. Obviously, it's got some tie-ins to the King in Black um, because that's the event right now. And I was going to drop Venom because it was tying into King in Black and I wasn't reading that main or that event. But uh, Venom 33 is out and Venom 35 is going to be a uh, legacy issue 200 and that's going to end Donnie Cates's run. So I'm going to stick around until the end of the run and I'll kind of read them all back to back and uh, hopefully it's good. I've heard great things. I know the artwork is good. Like Ryan Stegman is at the top of his game with this artwork, um, but I hope the story is good and it's not just like overload. Uh, so yeah, that's got a cover price of $3.99 and I'm grabbing that. And the second book on my list for Marvel this week is Strange Academy, number eight. Uh, now, with Strange Academy, I also was going to drop this series, except I saw some of you guys in the comments and you were like, no, Strange Academy is getting really, really good. Don't drop it. It's actually one of my favorite Marvel books. So I literally just kept it on the pull list because you said so. <laughs> so I need to sit down. I need to make time to read these books. Between Future State and death metal before that, 
I am so behind on my ongoing books. The only books I'm really caught up on are indie books most of the time. Um, so I need to really sit down and go through these books and these boxes and, and read them so I can decide whether or not I really do want to keep these things on the list. So that's Strange Academy number eight. I'm just getting the cover A and it's got a cover price of $3.99. So uh, my Marvel Comics pull list is just $8. That's what's up. Uh, now let's move on to the indies. Uh, now the first book on my indie list from uh, Image Comics and Skybound is The Walking Dead Deluxe number eight. Now you guys already know why I'm picking up this series. I never read Walking Dead before and it's in color now and David Finch is doing covers. The David Finch cardstock cover alone is worth the $4 to me. I will keep picking it up because I've heard nothing but good things about The Walking Dead. And um, they say they're not going to collect these color issues in any sort of hard covers anytime soon. So that's what I'm going to get. Uh, so that's got a cover price of $3.99. And it's coming home with me on Wednesday. <laughs> and the next book is also from Image and Skybound. And it is Firepower number eight. Firepower is a great series. I really, really love this book. It's one of those books that just jumps to the top of my reading pile every time it comes out. Um, it's full of action. It's great. Like, it's mystery. It's it's amazing. You need to read it. Uh, written by Robert Kirkman, art by Chris Samney, and I love it. So I'm picking up that one. It's got it's only got one cover. I'm picking up that cover A, and it's got a cover price of $3.99. So uh that's it that's all that's on my list this week now uh remember last week i was telling you guys about this marvel action uh origins book that actually didn't come out last week it's on the list for this week so i'm still gonna pick that one up as well all right so that marvel actions origins got a cover price of 3.99 i'm just getting the cover a although the cover b with thanos looks pretty cool too uh so be on the lookout for that at your shop Hopefully it comes out this week. Like I said, it was going to last week. All right, so that's my list for this week. Now, there is nothing on the chopping block, but there is one book on the maybe list, and that is Man Bat number one. Uh, so Man Bat is, I don't know if it's an ongoing, I don't know if it's a mini series or what, um, but Man Bat has had solo titles before, um, but Man Bat has a special place in my heart because, of course, my favorite show of all time is Batman the animated series. And the very first episode of Batman the Animated Series is called On Leather Wings, and it features Man Bat as the villain of that episode. Uh, so Kirk Langstrom, he's got this serum that turned him into a bat, and I don't know what the actual storyline's gonna be for this series, but it's on the maybe list because it's like, it's Man Bat, and it looks cool. So if they got one in the store, and if I'm able to, you know, switch out something maybe, then I'll probably pick it up, um, or maybe I won't. But that's something that I, I do have my eyes on. And that's got a cover price of just $4.99. Uh, so that's what I'm getting. That cover by a call, Kyle Hotz actually looks really good. Uh, and so that's another reason why I might buy it. I'm just like, I don't know if I need to take on any more ongoing titles. I've been doing good at sticking to my budget, trying to stay, stay that way. Adding titles is not going to do that. So. That's where we are. So as you can see, uh, my pull list is pretty low. If we only count the books that are coming out, like that are fresh books from this week, I got $32 worth of books there, right? Now, if we add that total to the reprints and second printings that are coming out, uh, then my total jumps up to $62. So I'm over budget by about 10 bucks. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm happy with that number. So anyway. Let me know what's on your pull list this week. Um, it feels like a light week. Am I like missing out on a book that I should be picking up? Let me know what you guys are grabbing in the comments below. I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, that's cool. <laughs> you can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Now, if you like these weekly roundups of what I'm getting, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when I post new ones. Anyway, I'll see you in another video soon. Peace.